This is Jamie McGregor. I'm at the Society of Maternal Fetal Medicine uh, yearly meeting. We're in Dallas. It's uh, February 1st. I'm here with Bo Jacobson. He's one of the world leaders uh, in terms of understanding the me me mechanisms and pathobiology of preterm birth. I'd like to ask him to comment on how it is that here in North America we have much higher rates of preterm birth than they do in Europe. Uh, actually, we can't explain that. that uh, we can't do that. But, but uh, I mean, for instance, from Sweden, and uh, we have an uh, incidence of, of uh, spontaneous uh, of preterm birth about 5.6%. The, the U.S. is increasing and now it's up to 12.5 and, and also the big difference in the ethnic population in a different ethnic population where, where blacks have over I think it's 18 or 19 and, and but what's interesting is that we uh, we can't explain this and, and I think there is a lot of things that we can look into a complex phenotype like this but one of the interesting things that we have done comparing the three Nordic countries now and, and uh, where we can see that uh, it's uh, to control for kind of basic, uh, uh, basic uh, changes in the population as use of reproductive technology, uh, assisted reproductive technology, uh, smoking changes and things like that. We can control in Sweden and Norway for, for increasing So you levels. actually have less uh, triplets, less yeah. multiple yeah. gestations because yeah. you ask uh, providers to only put in one egg? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do many women in Sweden smoke? No, there is no. a reduced level of that. And what about sexually transmissible infections and it's abnormal more, flora? It, 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 in this specific population, is quite low. But what's interesting is also that the maternal age is rising. But controlling for all these things, we, we have a huge increase in spontaneous preterm birth also in Denmark. But so it's so, diff so, so close to our population, our, our kind of um, composition of, of the um, of the population and and uh, and uh, we we can't explain this increase and it might be for different issues but it had been a 50 percent increase in the kind of standard population of women that we published in british medical journal uh, last year and and but uh, even controlling for this and controlling for, we, there is a difference between the nordic countries in this and and we don't know why but we are still continue to, to do work on this and try to understand why Besides for moving to Norway or Denmark or Sweden, uh, what advice would you give American uh, families in terms of preventing preterm birth today? I think it's very important that, I mean, the diet, the diet is certainly important to eat good diet, to keep the weight, to, to, to uh, uh, have a healthy life, I think it's important. And also I think that quit smoking, uh, doing physical activities, uh, good nutrition is, uh, is one of the most important things that you can do in this area at the moment and also to, to go to controls to your doctor even if we can't do much we can kind of conceal the patient to to, to uh, at risk for this um, we will in the future we, we will develop a different kind of strategies to identify these patients very early and, and start with different kind of treatments um, uh, but we don't have the final treatments yet I would suggest that actually uh, uh, looking closely at the Western diet in pregnant women and moving more towards a Mediterranean, a Mediterranean diet would be certainly an uh, uh, important aspect. Uh, screening and treating for different kinds of infections, including urinary tract infection, reproductive tract infections, and perhaps even bad periodontal disease. Uh, other things which would avoid substances, uh, uh, smoking, would certainly be uh, important to factors in terms of aspects of uh, lifestyle. And uh, we've been interested uh, Bo and I have been interested in actually as aspects of bad stress, bad stress in preterm labor, and that's something where we're looking for ongoing investigations. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jamie.